We got a metallic gray RV6 tower strut bar. So that's pretty cool. Car's not here. We're headed out this morning to go pick it up from the shop. Clutch is in, transmission's back in, subframe's back in, but he's having a hard time putting together the manifold. The amount of V-band clamps and running two and a half is the biggest problem we have with the manifold right now. So it's probably gonna be this winter that we switch that setup. We're probably gonna get rid of two V-band clamps and turn them into just bigger pieces and three inch downpipe. Release it. This is the brakes on. Never buy a Dodge. Made it to the shop. Been here for about 30 minutes now. Full transmission fluid. Additive. The V band clamp that broke. We got it to re thread on there, so this one's sealed. We still got a leak in the back. Pretty efficient. Yeah, I don't like these things. We just recently got them. Yeah. The first one, George got it. I was like, why are you getting those? And then after I'd used it a couple times, it's like, I like that. <laughs> but you still, when you pull, you, you just have to let the funnel hang out for a while to get all the fluid out. This is nice because a lot of them are in like a weird tight spot. In yeah, the yeah. Where you got to go in through the side and, you know, yeah. warm it up in there. Car's back on the ground. We're gonna pull it out, adjust the pedal on the clutch, and get me out of here. Drive this thing home, but first, I'm gonna take him out for a little spin, make sure it goes through all the gears and doesn't shake up on us. My cannon's gonna come out, we're gonna go for a ride. I'll see you guys when I'm headed home. Hopefully everything goes good. Okay, just got back from a drive. Went good, went through all the gears. There's the culprit. So this is the spec throwout bearing. And they have this extra cap on here. Compare, oh, I didn't bring the other one as well. It's installed in the car. So we ended up doing with the OEM throwout bearing in the clutch because of this extra step right here. This is for the, um, the twin disc clutch. I think he said it was for the twin disc clutch uh, that spec offers. Yes. but. This is pretty much just a cap, so I don't know if you can remove the cap or not, but we just ended up going with the OEM and we're not even running the OEM flywheel. We ended up throwing in the, uh, we put in the new friction plate. Here's the old one. And I'll have to do the question lines myself. We back in the game, boys. I like driving with no hood. You can hear that. to blow these tires off now. <laughs> that was my first time driving the car with a true dual exhaust and the 
were some nasty backfires. Um, sounds really good, super crispy, but here's what it sounds like outside. I don't think I was able to give you guys very good clips. never been good at explaining exhaust note but definitely a lot cleaner a little bit quieter and a little bit more deeper a lot better sounding than we had before so I am happy with this right now feeling so much relief right now that it goes into gear and feels normal now. It's already been one of those weeks. I haven't been in a really good mood pretty much all week. And this was one of the big reasons. Um, just a lot of weight right now lifted off of my shoulders now that the car goes through all the gears and it feels proper now. So we can finally get this thing on the road. In the last video you guys saw there was a screw in the tire and then uh, later I pulled it out and just put a plug in there so I could drive it to the mechanics. But um, we need to get a patch in there. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds remaining or 48 months. Mm -hmm. Good, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, uh, I'm looking to see if you guys are able to patch a tire today. If you can get it to me before five, yeah, absolutely. Okay, all right, hit it there now. Okay, thanks. Right. thanks. Thank you, man. Still pain inside. Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, good. I'm good. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. All right, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, bro. Yes, sir. You have a good one. You too. That's slippery, slippery soap. I'm so sorry, Will. If I would have went to like less swab, they wouldn't touch it for like an hour and a half. Point ass tire. Thank you. Yes, I really left the jack like that for the last 30 minutes. Well, I got this thing patched up because. I trust my jack. You, sometimes you gotta put some trust in your parts. You know, if you put a little faith in it, everything gonna work out. Come back, the rotor sitting on the ground. <laughs> oh man, all right, before we slap these on, look what I got. Finally, after four years of rip fenders, we got some Honda fenders, liners, fender liners. The only thing these were good for is getting more air into the intake. trimming for the wastegate down there so I just want to make sure at least we're an inch and a half off of it so it can't burn the plastic the next video with the car we are taking it out for a drive and actually gonna rip on it we've only put 150 miles on the clutch now we're gonna take it out for a drive later get some more mileage on it and then the next video we'll be taking this car out on my birthday in a couple days and actually getting on it for the first time Hopefully everything goes good. You guys hear me talking about this video I've been waiting to make, POV drive in the TL. But uh, just so happens to be ready for my birthday. Thank you guys always. Thank you guys always for tuning in. Comment down below what you guys wanna see other than POV driving and just turbo noises. That's all I want to do, but I wanna know what you guys wanna see. I also wanna do cams, but that'll be another time. <laughs> all right, you guys have a good day. We'll see you later.